more about money. Yeah, I'll get by. Well, that looked good in your head, Stone. Here lies Ray Daly. He got by. I've got me plans. Same again, lads. Yeah, why not? Come, Ray. All right, I'll bring them over, then. Any profit goes in your pocket? Oh, I don't know. I work for me uncle. Has he got you under an exclusive contract? No. Well, then. I don't think I've even seen a karaoke machine. How's it going, mate? Well, nightly. What do you make of my little karaoke evening? Yeah, it seems very popular. I'm coining it in, sir. Over the weekend, I can take over five ton. Yeah? Trev, drinks. I've got one. Don't be a nose. All right, what's everyone having then? It's mixed company tonight, so make it champagne, you tight git. Here, Bell. This is Gloria, Gloria, Barry. All right, girl, you gonna get up and sing? I wasn't planning to. Oh, go on, I'll put you top of the list. I can't sing. I've got cloth ears. I bet she's a right little singer. Bill, get this down, you screech. light on punters tonight, aren't we? Can't understand it. Usually chocker by now. Hello? I've come to see Barry. Oh, thank God I caught you. You've got to do me a favour. Have I now? I need a karaoke machine for tonight. Look, I know it's short notice, but we've got a right flap on. You serious? Well, that's the deal, ain't it? I get the venues, you supply the machines. When I said find new outlets, Ray, I meant Lewisham, Brent Crossway. Not my bloody front doorstep. Yeah, I'm not with this. Do you know how many people were down my boozer last night? Fifteen. Fifth bloody teen. You know why? Because some comical koala set up a karaoke evening of his own, not five streets away. Hang on, it had nothing to do with me. Well, you got some front. Not only do you nick all my punters, you want one of my machines to entertain them with. Look, I'll be straight with you. It was Arthur's idea to set all that up. But I promise you, you rent me a machine for tonight and I'll make sure that's the last karaoke night they have down the volunteer. Well, what'd you say, Barrel? Yeah, that's another thing. Don't call me Barrel. Plus, I owe you one. You name it. Any time you want to call it in, Ray Daly owes you. Trevor, get down here and help Ray get his machine loaded. Drink that one, mate. And Ray, <laughs> I want it back here by tonight. Yeah, you never said anything about bringing it back. I thought it was obvious. You mean I've got to drive all the way back to Luton? No, no, you've got to stay there with it. Oh, fine. Thanks a bunch. And I've got to unpull that gear on me own. No. Nope. Trevor's going with you. Oh, great. Come on, Trev. You can put that out. What? That disgusting pit prop you got in your mouth. Now put it out. I'm not having you polluting the air all the way up to Luton. It's bad enough having to put up with Arthur's all day. Here, shove the radio on. You ain't got. Brand new. Put it in yesterday. What's Daly doing upstairs? He nearly broke my arm. I'm going to break your neck. Hello, Barrel. Everything all right, Barry? Disappear. Move. Well, this is cosy. Let's get down with it, Ray. What's on your mind? A deal? Well, that depends on you. Gloria, look, I'm really pressed. But we need to talk. Oh, I'll drop home and see you later. But, but you give me five minutes of your time, Ray Daly, or you'll be singing soprano. I haven't heard from you for days. Well, I'll be a minute, let's. Dear, oh dear, well under the farm. Bit of a dump, in it. Well? Well what? Well, get out and help him. Mr. Daly, 
Mrs. Gabardini. I've bought the merchandise. This is Mr. Powell. Mr. Daly tells me you have a proposition for me. Ray, um, Mr. Daly, tells me you're interested in specialist goods. So he brought them here for you to, um, view. I see. Very interesting. Good condition. Hardly used at all. These systems are very expensive, no? Fifteen grand new. Lot of money. And how much are you asking, Mr. Powell? Nine thousand. And for this price, how do I know I have no unpleasantness from the authorities? I don't understand. What Mrs. Gabardini means is that if we agree a deal afterwards, we forget the name of Gabardini. Understood? Oh, absolutely. I think we have a deal of sorts. One karaoke machine returned as promised, and the balance of the rental. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, Mrs. Gabbiadini, as always. Very educational. Barry, thank you for delivering the machine I rented from this good lady. Truly Samaritan. Come on, Ray, we mustn't dawdle. Tempers fidget, as you Italians say. <laughs>